No, she doesn't want butter. They're done. They're done. I can tell. Oh, I know they are. We're game. Kevin, they're about. done. Okay. Fully done. What are you cooking, Camden? Camden, what are you doing? Turning the uh, chicken skewers? Yes, sir. You're in the mountains? Hold on a second. Trying to concentrate. I don't want to cook too fast. Okay, now it's good time for video. I've been video. Let me start it again. Camden, what are you cooking? We got some chicken skewers on the grill, and I'm just putting some extra this, some extra marinade juice on here. And we already had some as appetizers. They're super delicious, crispy on the outside, juicy in the middle. Out here in the Blue Ridge Mountains. Get a close-up real quick. Take a photo. Thanks. Turn them over and they cook just, slowly. Cook them closer together. Oh, that one looks really good. Look at this one. Look at that char. Here. You show me. Oh, that looks good. This one's from the first batch, right? Yes. Yeah, I wouldn't mind charring more like that. Here, take a bite of that one. It's going to be really hot. Yeah. Hang on a second. Do, do get a video, us. though. Start. Okay, okay, do it. Cam, you're eating one of the uh, chicken skewers. Mm. Yeah, the Blue Ridge Mountain is right behind you. So delicious. Mm. Perfect. Put your coat out there. Alright, I'm going to put the veggies in this platter, in this bowl, Camden. What's up, everybody? This is Camden. I'm at the airport right now in ATL, Atlanta. About to board my flight for Korea. Final destination, Bangkok, Thailand. It's been a wonderful three weeks with my family. I went through, I went through some very dark times tough times, learning a lot more about the value of mental health, learning a lot more about the value of a positive attitude, and keeping the faith alive, because we got to move forward each and every day. Let's make this a great journey together. One love, much peace. Thank you. One of the greatest things that I learned in the past 24 hours is to Let go of all the bullshit. If you've been going through some tough stuff throughout this pandemic, before the pandemic, post-pandemic, whatever the pandemic is, just know that you have a purpose for being here. You have a sole purpose for being here. And never let anyone say otherwise. Never let anyone take away your greatness. Never let anyone comment away your shine. You have so much to offer in this world this temporary experience here. So go out and make it happen. There's going to be times maybe you have no motivation to do anything. You don't even want to go outside to get fresh air. And I had to sit in that darkness. I had to sit in that misery by choice because I wasn't keeping up with my mental health. And now, since yesterday, 
I have a new purpose for being alive. I have a new drive to stay alive. So no matter what you're going through right now, understand that you're not the only one going through some really turbulent mental times. And if you need some help, let me know. You can email me. I always make myself available to those who are ready to learn, to grow, and advance in life. So let that be you today. Go out there and advance, upgrade, take your life to the next level. You have everything inside of you. Just gotta believe. You gotta believe and you gotta be hungry. And you gotta have a fire inside yourself. With the fire, with the drive, with the hunger, and with the gratitude, you can make it happen. You can make your dreams come true in this life. No doubt about it. Much love. at my destination, my connection flight into Korea and then to Thailand. It's been a good time. 14 hour flight, almost done. So now I'm in the Inchuan South Korean airport right now. Pretty interesting place. <laughs> Dunkin' Donuts. Where's the real food at? Freaking hungry. So anyway, just one more plane and then I'm going to do the uh, one night mandatory quarantine at a government approved hotel in Bangkok. And then the next day, cause I get in at 11.20 PM tonight, you know, 11.20 PM, airport pickup, straight to the hotel and then get a good rest. And tomorrow I got another flight to go see the love of my life. I haven't seen, touched, felt her love face to face in over a year. So it's been a long time coming. Be with those who love you and be with those that you love. Be real with yourself, be honest with yourself, what you want in this life and who you want to spend your time with. It's precious life. So make it count. So I'm just getting checked into the one night government approved quarantine hotel in Bangkok. I made it 29 hours. It's been a long time going through a lot of different time zones. I need a hot shower right now and a good rest. And then tomorrow wake up, feel refreshed, baby. Oh yeah. Are you ready for a good time? I know I am. You got to get excited about life. You got to have a good attitude. You're going to go through some shit. You're going to go through some hell, hellacious moments. But that's all going to develop you into a better human being. And you got to recognize that. And then you got to act on it and keep moving forward with your goals, with your life with the vision for your life. You came here for a purpose. Don't allow society to twist your mind and rip you from side to side. Don't allow the music industry, the movie industry, Netflix, media, news, government, politics, all that crap affect you in a negative way. It's better to focus on yourself, better to focus on your strengths, and all the other madness that's going on in the world. Because you got this life right now. And that's it. Make it happen. Real quick, I want you to understand this. And to realize that it's very important to pay attention to the signs in your day-to-day -day life. Because, for example, when I went to go get my plane ticket this morning. And it was printing out. And I checked the boarding time from Atlanta to Inchuan. South Korea, it's at 1115, which is my birth date. So be aware and be more mindful of signs and symbols in your day because that's put in your day. That's put into your reality for a reason, 
for a purpose, but you just got to be open to it. And for me, when I get those signs and messages and those symbolic meanings, I realize that I'm on the right path, even though a lot of things didn't go my way, I can still wake up tomorrow and make it a great day. Because when things don't go our way, either it's not for us or we got to fight harder for it. And it's very important to understand and realize whether it's time to let go or time to fight harder. And only you are going to be able to understand that. So it's almost like 3 a.m. right now in Thailand. I'm not tired. I slept on the airplane a little bit. But uh, just check in the online Google search right now for online teaching opportunities in Asia, English specialization in Asia. While I'm finishing my bachelor's degree online, looking to make things happen online, looking for new opportunities and putting the best attitude, the best effort, energy forward. Because the past is the past, but we're here right now and we have the power, we have the choice to reconsider our future for a better day and a brighter future. Amen. Let's go get it.